Hello everyone, MC Rich S here. Welcome back to Baby. Before I begin with part two of the Halloween Haunted Doll series, I would just like to ask you to please like, comment, share and subscribe on the video. In part two of the Halloween Haunted Doll series, we will be discussing a doll who witnessed assassinations and two world wars. This doll is... Amelia. Amelia is over 100 years old, possibly the oldest haunted doll in existence, and was originally in the possession of King Umberto I. Umberto I was King of Italy from 9th of January 1878 until his assassination on the 29th of July 1900. He was deeply hated in left-wing circles, especially from the anarchists, because of his hardline conservatism and support of the Barva Baccaris massacre in Milan. He was assassinated by anarchist Gaetano Bresci a year after the massacre and was the only Italian king to be assassinated. The doll was given to Olvado Bellina, one of his most trusted and respected friends and personal captain of the guard who was also assassinated. The doll was then passed on to his daughter Marie. Marie named the doll Amelia and felt a great affinity towards her, always keeping her close as she was great company for Marie. Amelia survived both World War I and World War II losing both arms and her scalp during World War II when a bomb hit the train Marie was travelling in to Edini, Italy. Because she was a prized gift passed from Umberto I to her father and then to Marie Bellina, she was rescued from the train, supposedly, by another passenger. Unfortunately, the woman passed away while rescuing Amelia from the train wreck and it is said that this woman haunts the doll. Amelia is said to open and close her eyes and her voice box is still heard at times in the darkness of the night, crying for her mama, even though the voice box no longer works. At night, Marie could hear weeping and sobbing coming from the doll. Sometimes the doll would blink and her facial expression would change. Marie played with Amelia during both wars and before she died. Amelia seemed to have a mind of her own already. During the wars, Marie and Amelia would hide in bomb shelters, with Amelia providing Marie a great sense of comfort and safety. One time when Marie was hiding in a shelter, a man in the shelter swore that he saw Amelia smiling at him as she was sat on Marie's lap. Another time, Marie heard Amelia say, It's not great. She said this after the bombing of the train when her voice box stopped working. The words could have been misunderstood, but Marie was happy that Amelia spoke to her. Although she didn't know what Amelia meant by what she had said. After the wars, Marie had a child and named her Amelia after the doll. Marie has been dead for a while now and her daughter looks after the doll. She hears noises coming from the unhappy doll who misses Marie terribly. Poor Amelia. She deserves to find peace and I hope that one day her soul will be freed. What did you think? Do you think Amelia hosts the spirit of the woman from the train? I personally think that the spirit is older than this, possibly going back to the 1900s. It's also worth noting that Marie would have been around 18 at the time of World War I 
and also in her 30s at the time of World War II. So at that time she wouldn't be given to the fight, flights of fancy a child would be. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. In part 3 we will be looking at another doll from Italy. So until then, don't have nightmares. <laughs>